Hi everyone, I'm Fabio for Higher Heads Project. Today I'm gonna show you the Empirical Labs Mic E EL9 channel strip. The Mic E is a digitally controlled analog channel strip that includes a preamp section and a compressor and saturation section. The compressor part includes the now very famous distressor with some additional features. Let's take a closer look of the components of the channel strip and then we will hear some short recordings that are made with the EL9 in different kind of sources or simply used on the mixing process as an insert in the effects chain. The preamplifier section features in its circuitry a very low noise input amplifier transformer with digitally step control gain. This allows for fewer moving parts such as potentiometers that are subject to wear. We have high impedance input that adjusts automatically on the front panel, while on the back we have the balance XLR cable or TRS input. Since we don't have any view meter, we have the bad indicator which is really really uh, precise when the input signal is overloading this circuit. We have the normal phantom controls for powering condenser microphones, the phase reverse and the low cut at 80 hertz. But let's get into the interesting part of the mic E, the CompSat. The CompSat combines two particular characteristics, the distressor compressor and the saturation that is very reminiscent of tape recordings. These two characteristics are not separable, but managed via the drive knobs, which is useful for determining the compressor threshold. Consequently, the greater the compression, the greater the emulation of tape saturation will be. In fact, we have two indicators, warm for a gentler compression and saturation, while toasty indicates a more present saturation. You don't have to be scared of the combination of uh, the compressor and the saturation because it's very, very musical. Certainly we don't destroy our transient. It's very, very subtle, guys. We have the ratio 101, 2 to 1, 4 to 1 and 8 to 1 and of course the nuke, which is really aggressive. There is the possibility to mix the compressed signal with the not processed by the compressor. Very interesting for making parallel compression on the fly and I left the HF emphasize function for last not in order of importance of course but in my opinion it's one of the most interesting feature of the mic E. The emphasis on high frequency is very intelligent emphasis as it boosts high frequencies but with saturation. This means that the high frequencies will be more present but at the same time very soft, avoiding the clips also deriving from the combination with high compressions. As always, there is the possibility to uh, do a sidechain with external sources and also to link another machine to use the mic E for stereo processing. Really great. But let's go now to hear how the mic E EL9 behaves both as preamp and as compressor in a post-production. How about a dance? What do you say? I've got some moves that I love to show ya. Let's find a spot and dance the night away. How about a dance? What do you say? I've got some moves that I love to show ya. Let's find a spot and dance the night away. Ma vedrai prima o poi solo che non si dice non si ammette mai e non è da eroi far finta che non faccia male ma 
vedrà che cadono tutti prima o poi solo che non si dice non si ammette mai e non è da eroi far finta che non faccia male ma vedrai che cadono tutti prima o poi solo che non si dice non si ammette mai e non è da eroi far finta che non faccia male sounds fantastically good guys coupled with the condenser microphone i used on the female vocals the vocals immediately sounded crystal clear and beautifully present i really liked the attack and release ranges as they have uh, the essential settings in my opinion that allows you to work really really fast without wasting any time searching the best settings the blend is a godsend as i'm used to compressing i really like to use really high amount of compression this is really helpful because i like to uh, blend together the not compressed sound with the super compressed sound so i can do on fly a, a parallel compression without make uh, two different buses because i like to mix uh, the clean signal with the super compressed signal uh, in order to keep a soft uncompressed tail and a really noticeable transients so guys this was fabio for higher heads project thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye